there's the bear. They call him Daddy. What's up, guys? How are you? Uh, here we are again for another review, technically, kind of thing. Um, what we're actually going to be doing is a late to the party review. That's kind of what I'm going to call these type of videos, mostly because it tends to be either items that I got nowadays that have been around forever or things that are pretty much discontinued at this point, but I was able to get them right before they were all gone. Speaking of which, we're going to be talking about this guy right here, the Cosmonaut RDA. That guy right there. It actually focused on it. That made me happy. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be talking about the Cosmonaut uh, by what the hell, uh, District 5. And it's one of those ones that I really fought against it, didn't like it. But I'll let you guys know uh, back when we come back after I give you guys a close look and a, and a build up and all that kind of thing. So I'll catch you guys down there and then we'll come back up here. All right, guys, uh, as we all know, this is the Cosmonaut. Um, as a packaging, as you can tell, it's a little bit pre uh, warning signs and all that kind of shit. Very simple, nice, easy packaging, nothing to it. Here you got your uh, drip tip. If I can get this sucker open. I wish they, they, they would have done more uh, see-through baggies, but whatever, black bags are kind of cool. The Ultim drip tip. Not my favorite, but whatever. Can't complain too much, I guess. Then a uh, baggie of spares. So I can get that guy open. As you can see, you got all your extra screws and stuff like that. Screws for days, O-rings and all that kind of thing. I'm, they're in there. I don't want to make too much of a mess, but trust me, they're in there. It's your top cap. Adjustable airflow. That kind of thing. And it has for single and dual. And this, I'll be honest, this is the one thing I hate it about this packaging style is trying to get this guy out. You can tell I've kind of already indented that quite a bit. All right, so we're going to put this aside because now we're looking at the show. As you all know, this was a, a what is it, a postless deck. I know technically these are the posts, but you know, you know what I mean. Very simple, very to the point. If you wanted to make this squonkable though, the, you would have to have bought a separate kit that allows you to change out this block and the pin. And that way it is squonkable. I do not have that, so... Squonking wasn't really a big thing when the Cosmonaut came out. Uh, it hadn't hit as big as like it has in recent days. And instead of having my fingers all in the way of you being able to see it, let's just bring out the John Beam atomizer stand here. Yeah, check out John Beam's drip tips on Facebook. I'll put a link down below. Go, go pick yourselves up one of these. They're really cool. Yeah, look at that. Uh, I really, really like that. What's funny is I never noticed that this was an astronaut. I always thought like it was a weird bird because I always saw the atomizer. And I always thought this was like a weird, like, uh, Hunger Games bird looking thing. But it's not. It's actually a, it's an astronaut. Like, I never even caught really many of the reviews. I think I saw Grimm's back in the day, but I don't even really, I vaguely remember that. All right, so you just unscrew this guy right here. Unscrew this guy right here. And then this is your, I think this is your negative, this is your positive. So your coils go this way. Keep that in mind, because if you put them this way, you ain't gonna do anything. It's kind of like the dead rabbit. I remember when the dead rabbit RDA came out. I saw so many posts of, why isn't my dead rabbit not working? And then everybody's like, because uh, you use the post wrong. And I feel that, like, even just a little bit of instruction goes a long way. You get a manual with most of these things. You get a, uh, you have tutorials out there. Most of the time, by the time you are able to buy some of these products, there is somebody that has already reviewed it. All that kind of thing. So, yeah, you just pop your coils in there. 
as such and you know cut your leads obviously and all that kind of thing but just put your coils in there and then they go you just start you know you get them glowing all that thing and start vaping away you can go in dual coil configuration by putting them each like this or you could just cross it over like this and get a nice single coil thing kind of going on so you got you got some variation options and such things all right so i'm gonna build this guy up really quick and i'll take you guys up top and we could you know take a take a look at what was in the vapey world a while back all right catch you guys up top after this part <laughs> All right, guys, so that was the Cosmonaut up close and personal. As I was saying, um, this is one of those late to the late to the party reviews because I seriously, uh, I had gotten my hands on a clone Cosmonaut and it was the most deplorable thing I had ever had. I just hated it. It was too wide open for me and I like wide open airflow. Keep that in mind. If I'm saying it's too wide open for me, that is something terrible. And it was just flavorless, so that same fact is just too airy, and it didn't even have like a proper AFC. It was just like these little itty bitty prongs that were at the very end of it. It was a lot more wide open than the authentic was, and I fought it, and I fought it, and I fought it. And uh, joining the Discord group with the Stooges, I I kept hearing everybody talk about how great it was. I just didn't want to spend the sixty dollars that they were wanting for it, and you know we as a community and group we find discounts, we help out each other, and this and that. But um. You know, I kept missing sales and this and that, and I was just like, I want to try this. I mean, everybody tells me how amazing it is in a, of an RDA, how much flavor they get out of it, this and that. And I even told them I tried the clone. It was garbage. And they're like, well, you need an authentic. And I, I tried. I really did. To save my life, I couldn't do it. I couldn't find one. And uh, Mr. Uh, Frank Wolf, my uh, partner in crime with the Wolf Bite, he actually was the one that got me this guy. He was a, like... He's like, hey, bro, here's a checking number, and you are going to get something special. And it was the Cosmonaut RDA, and I was like, holy shit. And he even got it in black, which the solid black is kind of a pain in the ass to find out of all the colors that they have. And I I seriously built it up as soon as I could. I put, I think the first juice I did on this was Marcellus from Savage E Liquids or Valiant Vapor, whatever they're called nowadays, Vigilante Vapor. I don't remember. And Marcellus at that point was one of my top favorite juices. So it was one of those that I couldn't get enough of it. And oh my God, it brought it up to a new level that I just couldn't even 
begin to comprehend, begin to understand. And I was like, okay, okay, hype is real. That's what I kept saying right after I got it. Like everybody that if you watched any of the Vaping with the Omis episodes after I got this RDA, I was like, hey guys, hype is real. Cosmonaut, hashtag hype is real. And you know, I have it on the L L Thunder. L Thunder right there. Because I feel like that it's 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 rightful home. And um we'll say cannot wait to get my hands on one of the 21700 L Thunders. So that is one of those things that I need to pick up and purchase. Uh, I just recently got a a layer kick guy. So I'm trying that out and all that kind of thing. So District 5 is one of those companies that I'm really growing to appreciate and respect. Uh, so back to the, to the Cosmo. I'm like, I, I am I am Captain Tangent and I will go on them constantly. So... Like I was saying, the Cosmo, really amazing flavor, really uh, just, I don't know, it just, like the airflow is perfect. It just gives you good flavor. I will say the only thing, and it's mostly not against this, like, uh, atomizer itself. It's just more the style of build deck that I have, especially of, like the older style uh, post list decks before like the Dead Rabbit came out or the Drop came out. Is the idea that like you would have to guesstimate how much you need to cut off your leads and then drop it. And if it wasn't short enough, you would have to take them out, cut it again, cut it and doing that. And if you went too far, you were fucked and you would have to start over. And if you didn't have coils, you wouldn't be able to use it until the next time you were either to like place an oil, a quarter oil, a coil order or be able to, um, you know, make some for yourself, depending on which way you rock on that sense. That and the way the build the the deck is built and the post the way they go this way but your leads go this way it tends to bend them out like that those are like the only two cons i can really really say about this guy other than that it's nice fit and finish i love the look of it like i was saying i i really used to think that was like a mocking jay or something like that but it's really a astronaut helmet and i feel really i feel really stupid for that for thinking that way and thinking that it was that, but obviously I was seeing something nobody else did. <laughs> uh, so it's one of those things. Sadly enough, sadly enough to say, uh, you cannot purchase these anymore. These are no longer for sale. District Five has discontinued them. They have moved on to the layer cake and other endeavors that they are having. And so, if you are able to get your hands on one due to uh, resale on a buy trade sell group or just a there's some random website out there that nobody has found that still has a couple of them in stock i say go for it and do it it'll be worth it to you and you seriously try it out it's one of those things of as far as like old school vapes go because i mean this is kind of considered an old school vape i mean i think it comes came out like 2017 here give me one minute i'm gonna do some some research here Oh yeah, this is an old atomizer at this point. I'm um, looking around. The oldest video I could find, or mention that I can find on this was uh, Grim Green's December. What is it? December eighth. I think it was December eighth. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Uh, yeah, December eighth, two thousand sixteen was the first time you you uh, see the oldest I can find far back uh mention of the cosmonaut and then the oldest review i can find was actually jay hayes's which was in december 18th so that says anything i mean it's a pretty old art atomizer if it came out in like late 2016 it's at least three years old so well technically two and a half maybe less i mean it's a, a little over two years and again that it, it's in vaping terms that's like a like that's stone age ago it's like a, a century or two ago. I mean, we're talking like the Renaissance Fair was a, actually the Renaissance. That's how long ago it came out. But yeah, because vaping, the way it progresses and everything, how much gear comes out every year. It's just if you do not get noticed at any point, then you're going to be lost in obscurity and nobody will remember who you were. So it's one of those weird, simple things of uh, it's the nature of the beast, you know. But it is an old RDA, so yeah, of course they're going to move on to the new projects and this and that. I mean, finding like uh, OG Goons, the 22s, it's not the easiest thing to do, you know. Trying to find 24s is kind of not easy. You can still find them, but it's not the easiest thing to do. The 1.5, I know those are kind of getting phased out. The 25 is their current project, and it just turns into one of those things of like 
progression and da da da. Like me, I have a couple of OG recoils and I cannot find anything for them like caps or, uh, you know, like because I have a squonk ready one and I would like to convert it into a non squonk ready one and I can't find anything on it. No posts, no nothing. So it just turns into one of those weird things. Uh, we progress and but yeah. As always, I feel like this this was uh, one of those things that I'm glad I didn't fully miss out on. I am sad that it took me that long to get into it and get one. And that I wish I could have like really tried it out a lot more than I got to. Or a lot I got to actually experience it during the hype and when it came out and all that to be part of conversations. But even then, I wasn't really that fully like dove into the vaping community at that point. It wasn't until like mid-2017 where I was kind of like watching a lot more reviewers trying to actually do stuff i actually started my channel like like mid 2017 2018 was like my actual year where i started doing a lot but i actually started doing like all this in 2017 technically i've been doing this for almost two years i think in may will be my two year of uh youtube kind of things even though if you watch the 2017 part of my videos it's like late like there's like one or two videos for that entire year which is really sad and I'm glad that in like at least the last couple of months, I've been actually pumping these videos out and doing more and more for you guys and taking the time to do all the things that I do. Because I do care about the vaping community. I care about different aspects of it and this and that. And there's one of those things that I like giving my own two cents of where it is. So yeah, we're we're we're, we're digressing. Um, as always, as I was talking about caring about the vaping community, advocacy, stay on top of it, do what you need to do for you and your community. Because... Otherwise, nobody else will do it for us. I mean, it's one of those things if you just can't sit around waiting for Joe Schmo back there doing it for you. You actually got to do something for yourself because if all this goes away and you didn't do anything, you know what? I don't care to hear your opinions at that point. It's one of those simple things of it, it sounds rude and it sounds very blunt, but it's like if you didn't do anything, why are you complaining? It's more the people that actually pushed and were in the front lines and they were trying to like voice themselves and this and that. Those are the people that really could feel disheartened because they actually gave it their all. But people that didn't try, it's, what's your problem, you know? Alrighty, so Kasa, Safada, not blowing smoke, uh, smoking not, uh, what was that one other one? smoke don't vape i don't even remember there's so many organizations so many groups try to find like local chapters within your state in your area stay on top of your local uh laws local government because as much as we're aware of federal as much as we're aware of state you got to be really aware of what's going on in your neighborhood because like especially i live here in texas Every city has their own like ordinances, their own little governments that they decide what they do. Like in the area where I work at, they uh, do not allow smoking or vaping within six feet of any entrances and other places don't care. Other places they don't have, you know, it's one of those weird things like you can even tell what areas are not vape friendly based on how little vape shops they actually have. Then you can tell which ones are very vape whatever. Because they're not very vape friendly, but they're very, they don't care. They don't really seem to like get, they don't seem to like really attack it all that much. They just leave it alone. But you can tell that they have like a bunch of shops within one small area. And it's like the weirdest thing where you'll like seriously drive like less than a half a mile and you've already seen like four or five ape shops. So again, stay on top of that kind of stuff because it, it does matter and it is very important to you and your person. Uh, like we're still fighting stuff in New York. We're fighting stuff in California and it's just, it's ridiculous all over. And, you know, I, I just don't know what to say, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's call it a day here and follow me. Clumvapes.com coils juice. Seriously. I got, I got some juice. The, this guy right here, super cereal that's going out on an order. I got coils to, to kill. Seriously. I, I, I want that jar gone so I can refill it. I also have uh, now Fuse Clapton's getting that guy going. So, come on, guys. Uh, shameless plug. Uh, yeah, so Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. Vaping with the Omis. I think we're going to start doing it on my channel here sometime soon. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. It's just a timing thing at this point. Uh... Wolf Bite on uh, Vape Radio Saturdays at noon. 
9 p.m. at uh, Sundays, and all of that is Central Standard Time. So keep that in mind, adjust for your time slot and all that kind of thing. All right, so as always, mix on, vape on. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I do that a lot? Just, yeah. Yeah. Even at the end of one of my videos, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I said it so many times.